Hey everyone, Humsy Plays here, and they revealed a new trailer for Pokemon Sword and Shield today, so uh, let's take a look at the trailer. So far, we've seen all the stuff, so new battle strategies. So it looks like double battles are returning. Oh, so Weezing has a new ability where he neutralizes other abilities. Rotom's Levitate is also neutralized. Oh man, so... That didn't even help out his own Pokémon. A new item, Room Service. Lowers the Pokémon speed during Trick Room. Oh, so that's good because that means it will uh, be faster because Trick Room makes the slower Pokémon go first. So, new held item, Reject Pact. So the Pokemon switches out if its stats are lowered. That looks like Draco Meteor. So then it used its eject pack and then it switched out because its special attack was lowered. So new move, Breaking Swipe. Lowers the attack of all targets hit. Alright, that's not bad. So Corviknight has a hidden ability. Reflects any stats, lowering effects. Okay, that's not bad. Dynamax power. So he is fake out. So flinching won't work on Dynamax Pokemon. That's good. So the secondary effects, uh, we knew about this from before. Oh, so it raises his stats when he uses a move. So from before, uh, we knew that there was like field changes, but I don't think we knew that uh, some stats were raised. All right, so Dynamax Corviknight, or Gigantamax Corviknight. All right, and that's it for this trailer. So since Weezing has the ability to uh, neutralize, I guess, um, he doesn't have the ability to levitate, so that earthquake would have uh, hit him and probably been super effective on him. So, I mean, that ability can be useful, but it can also uh, not be good because, like, your own Pokemon is uh, vulnerable to having their ability lost. So, yeah, Trick Room is one of those cool moves that uh, makes a slower Pokemon go first for five turns. So I think these moves are more geared towards uh, competitive battling because they're mostly stat changing moves and also that may be useful for people who want to battle competitively. Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing your Pokemon is going to completely change the game and uh, it's going to completely change the way battles are done and just like how uh, Mega Evolutions changed the game, how Z moves kind of changed the game, I think uh, Gigantamaxing and Dynamaxing are also going to change the game. So that's going to do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one.